Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of Saki Side A. So, BTW, two things. One, I am tired. I literally, I did not get off at three o'clock. I actually got off at one um, this afternoon. I've been up since like seven o'clock in the morning. I am very tired. I am very exhausted and such. Um, just need to put that out there because, uh, so if I sound a little groggy or whatever, just know that's it. Um, two, I, I'm guessing when I, when I initially thought this, this potential, what I like to call part two, um, or spinoff, I feel like at first I thought I was going to focus on another group, but at the same time, I feel like it, it's still going to focus on our girls, but I think before Saki comes in. I feel like this is going to be more everything else pre-Saki. Maybe a little bit of Saki here and there. I'm not really sure on that, but you know, we gotta wait and see. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Okay, is this a child? Well, it's a child, but is it a little kid? Oh, she cute. You run in too fast. Oh, Nadoka! Well, baby, you do dress differently. Now, is that supposed to be Saki's younger, older sister? Something, I mean, it makes a sense if, if it is her, because then we're probably going to see the downfall of their parents' relationship and then also their relationship with each other. No, oh, it's okay, baby. You're so used to Tokyo. You city girl. Are you okay? That's a good question. It's Mahjong. Do you two also play? I mean, it would make the most sense if, you know, the one with the ponytail who looks like Saki's older sister, maybe. Now, okay, the one on the far right, is that supposed to be tacos? <laughs> Cause the face.
it's really interesting to see kids into a sports like this. It also gives me feels towards like March comes in like a lion and how what's his face he was like the him and several other kids were, or teenagers were the only ones who were interested in it. is number one. She gives me like kind of Toru vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had, yeah, definitely the Kurt of Toru vibes, but like mixed with someone else. <laughs> Sure, baby. Not okay. Not everything is coincidence, but you know, sometimes it can be. <clears throat> Boy, not okay. Still can't catch up. 
She trying though. <laughs> That's a good question. I think anybody would be really depressed after that for a while. Hmm. Didn't think that, huh? But you still want her here. I, and I get that. It's like home. It's a second home for you guys. The throne. Mm. I mean, are we being surprised? Is it really that surprising? She's good at her craft, so eventually somebody was going to come and get her. But of course, I feel for her because that means losing her second home. Damn. Damn.
Oh, no, don't cry. You smile for her. But none like her. I feel bad for all three of them. Form this little group, and then, you know, now it has to disband, and it sucks. That's, you know, that's life. <laughs> I have no idea. Call yes, call her. You have to do it in high school. I, I love how she's like, let me let me flex on myself. I, I'll be fine. What about you? Oh, no, it's open.
one day somebody was going to come. Well, nope, you're about to have three. Okay, so it, it's basically a prequel sequel. A sque mm -mm, I can't say the word correctly. But it, it's cute. I like it. I love the fact that, you know, one, the only character that is really from the original series is Nadoka. And we're seeing her development before Saki got to know her. And these brand new girls, which I feel like they're all going to be referenced later when I see part three after the 16 episode series and such so I mean it's like it gives me feels of of course like every other anime that has like oh hey the cute girls does cute things cliche yada yada, yada and stuff right um because the art style is not very similar to you know part one this art style gives me feels to like Azumanga Daio or um freaking I can't think of it. It's in my head. There's so many. That Saki sister right there. Um, but it looks interesting. It, oh, there's Sakos. There we go. There's Saki. There you go. There we go. We did it. We did it. All right. 10 out of 10. It just, it makes me wonder. It makes me question a lot of things, though. But, I mean, it's not, it's not that bad. I, I like it. It's a little interesting that we are getting another, you know, protagonist in it but i do also like the fact that it, it's we're getting stuff we're getting to see stuff before everything came in it, it's giving me all like the monogatari so, uh, feels <laughs> and there's tacos i do also like the fact that we're going back and forth between the art styles so you're getting like this really cutesy art style but then at the same time you see you're it's reverting back to the original art style from part one and i'm not mad at that it, it's nice it, it's very it's different not in a bad way more in a good way but it still is like a breath of fresh air where it's like oh hey this is how we're connecting this to this this is how this started so because of this this is why this this is that and the third does eventually happen. So I am kind of hoping that Saki and the rest of the girls do eventually, and Kyo as well, um, pop up. But something tells me that's going to be more like at the end of each episode when it goes from past to present day, possibly. But yeah, it, it's not that bad. It's really adorable and such. And I think I'm really going to enjoy it a lot more. It just feels like it's a just like with any other game series or anime series that I've watched, it's like, it's one of those that's like, oh, this is an absolute, you need to watch this in order to understand nationals and such. And I'm not mad at that. But I, I feel like when I was watching maybe about like 15 minutes of it and I was thinking about it more and more, I was like, this could have been something that I could have possibly watched 
first and then watch the original Saki and then watch Nationals. But I think if I had to watch this first and then going into OG Saki, I don't know how I truly would have felt by the end of it and such. And then it probably would have answered questions that I had when I was watching part one first going into this. But I'm guessing because there is a necessary... Uh, the right pathway, aka the right version of watching this. Of course, this has to be second regardless. But yeah, I am really going to enjoy it. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two in three, two, one, go. Now, see, now I'm recognizing more people after seeing it in a bigger light. Thank you. Yeah, but thank God. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just shy. with the the glove in a way the the half sleeveless half actual glove she will be your fifth and final
I thought she immediately was going to say no. Yeah, gently, gently. Use slow, calm words. Yeah, but sometimes with us certain employees, we're the last ones to know. Okay, well, what's her play level? That is nuts, and that would never possibly happen in real life, but okay. Will you? Mm -mm. Even though she still has some major PTSD. Now imagine if Nautica had a stayed, um, maybe like in some weird shape or form, her and Saki met. Oh, that would be crazy.
Might as well. The fact that she still kept it, so cute. Oh. And there we go, our fifth and final. And it only took an episode. No, you know, bribery or anything. But she called. <laughs> That's so pretty. Crazy, you know. Well, she about to be surprised when she go in. Now, something tells me she might end up staying and becoming their coach. I mean, I would like to see that.
worse than the don't point. Oh my god. But baby, she's too old. She's not in middle school. So not high school anymore. But Yeah, you have PTSD. Now, I wonder, is she going to... Well, she really shouldn't ask about Nadoka because Nadoka's already all on TV. So it is. Oh my god, you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, she not playing around. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
like a little bit left. I'll publish it for later. Oh. <laughs> Look how tired her hand is. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, hold up now. Don't say it like that. You know what's worse about blisters? Either blisters or calluses in whatever type of sport you play. I remember as someone who played volleyball competitively, my hands <laughs> would hurt so bad after a match. But that's only because, you know, when you're practicing and you're going hard in a match, like, oof. Um... I had, a, I had a friend who almost literally broke the heck out of her hand because, you know, of course, when you're serving and spiking a ball, there's a certain way you're supposed to do it. And then also, you know, when you're running to save the ball, it, it, girl, and when you touch in that hard behind gym floor, no, it's not the greatest feeling in the world, trust me. Mm -mm. But I, I like this group. They're really adorable. But it does. I do have a question, and I might have to also go back and look at this. Was this group featured in the final episode of part one? Because honestly, I don't remember. And if they did, they were probably just shown very quickly. Where I was probably like, "Oh, okay, I wonder who that is." Like you know, when they showed the. <laughs> What I like to call is the quote-unquote fake trailer about like, oh, hey, this is possibly what the heck is going to happen in part three and such. And how all y'all were like, yeah, it's something similar like that. Because I, it, instantly I was just like, this is giving my monogatari feels with the one um, sneak peek to the one season that I thought like, oh my God, like this all sounds so freaking good. And thinking that it was going to be the next episode and everybody telling me, oh, Deja, like, everything that you just saw, that was all fake and stuff. And I was just like, so I got hyped up for nothing. And that's what it truly feels like where when I watch that ending and I'm like, okay, we're seeing everything in Nationals, but is it like, is everything that I'm truly seeing right now, is that actually going to happen? And y'all were like, no. And I was like, okay. Thank God that got answered quickly because I, I cannot be... <laughs> 
I cannot imagine myself being hyped up for like 16 episodes and then getting into nationals and not seeing everything that we saw in that final episode trailer and being like, I felt cheated. <laughs> Knowing myself, I would definitely say that very quickly. But I do like the fact that um, Watch Your sister, sister is coming back as a coach. I think that's an interesting idea. It, it's like a trump card for them. Um, just like how Saki is, of course, not a coach trump card with her group and such. But it will be interesting to see any one of these girls, any one of the five, go up against Saki. Because it's Saki, but then when Nadoka comes in, that's that's just like a next level. Next freaking level. Like, mm. That's like, Nadoka is like new game plus, where she's just too OP. And you know you cannot outmatch her. Like, mm, no matter how hard you freaking try. But yeah, I really enjoyed these first two episodes. Honestly, cannot wait to see what the heck happens in episode two. And, I mean, nope, episode three and four. My bad. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Saki Side A. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Monday for Patreons. Nope. I said that wrong. Next Saturday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.